guys this is season 10 and I will play the mox uh, it is RTR return to Havnica sealed so it is fresh in, in TGO uh, started this morning well let's see what I have here two mythics oh Braska and Necropolis Regen oh whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player put that many plus one plus one counters on it this card is just insane very strong Limited. Vraska, I don't need to tell you guys how powerful is this card, right? Oh, let's see the hairs. This is insane because uh, in the late game, you just discard a land card and put another token of pack rat in play, and it is only two manas to cast so it have the potential to become very strong uh, and very quickly and turn two you can make the first one turn three you can already make a token turn four uh, they are three three so very constant, very good. This is insane because I have uh, a lot of have three different abilities. Uh, can add mana, can make your opponent lose life, and can can make you gain life. So versatile I like a lot uh, and it is also only one mana to cast corpus menace if you one or more one one counter will be placed on a creature you control twice of twice that many counters are placed on it instead this is awesome it is insane and it's also four mana for four this is a tutor uh, you basically will take uh, you take uh, your best creature on deck and put in your hand and you co you put uh, another creature in your graveyard so very interesting interactions uh, very good this is a um, insane deck uh, all my hairs and mythic hairs are perfectly combined this is so hard to happen This is also combo with this, so I like Golgari Charm is insane. All creatures get this one, this one, till end of turn, or destroy target enchantment, or regenerate each creature you control. So, very powerful. I think it's clear here. We are a uh, go guide. Mm, no reason to not play it. Ultimate price. Let's see this. Search for up to three basic land cards, reveal them and put them in your hand and shuffle your library. You can make a splash here with this card. Let's see the rest. Put um, X, X, Green Ozzy, Creature Token onto the battlefield. 
It's very good. You can make a big guy to beat your opponent. I'm going to kill. I am not on red. So let's set aside. As I shine, it's very good, but. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn or draw a card. Put target attack key or block key on top of its owner's library. It's very good. A removal and uh, a draw or a life gain. Very versatile also. Oh, as all, sh all charms are very good on this format. And we'll play probably in standard but my go guy is insane here Arrows reunion I don't like this card a lot on uh, limited unless you are playing against um, crazy aggro and want to survive some more turns syncopate is very good but I am not on the colors our S is one of the best cards here. This is splashable. Uh, Arch River is very good, very very good. Can reach it have great reach and trample, so it can save your life. Flying when it dies, put it on top of. It owner's library, very good also. Constant. Drag Mangler. Definitely, this deck is very insane right now. If an instant or sorcerer card will be, would be put in your in a graveyard anywhere, exile it. Perfect in our deck, and it is also one mana. Two, two, so uh, hell hot flailer sacrifice hell hot hell hot flailer. It deals damage equal equal to its power to target player. I like it, but let's keep looking. Whenever buzzer Cravid attacks another target attacking creature gets plus zero plus two until end of turn on top target creature. It's a good card for sure. Creatures can attack you or a planeswalker you control unless their controller pay X for each of this creature. Uh, X is the number of enchantments you control. This is a good card, but uh, I have to think if it is a good choice. Azorius Guild Gate. This flare splashes. I don't wa want to splash white or blue here. I am a crazy go guy. Reveal five. The top five cards of your library, you may put a creature card or a land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest in your graveyard. This is insane. I like it a lot. It's a tutor for your Necropolis version or Pack Red or whatever you need to. Put a four four green rhino creature token with trample onto the battlefield, then populate. Well, this is two four four guys for eight mana, but I don't think I will be. If I don't think my opponent will be alive when I reach eight mana, so. I am not thinking use this. This is a good card. It's good against Azorius and it clean your opponent's hand. Cremate is very versatile. 
and it is a graveyard hate and draws a card so it makes makes your better cards better so as a dictional and a dictional cost to play launch party sacrifice a creature destroy target creature it controller its controller loses two life and it is instant so it's very powerful you can actually use a creature that will die or I die and sacrifice to destroy another creature that is annoying to your deck so very good uh, white cards and blue cards I really don't want even try it this card is very good destroy target artifact or enchantment then populate so you can actually not too many cards to put token in my deck but uh, it is versatile it is a uh, better naturalized blue white this is a removal uh, three manas and the creature le gets less two less two and if it doesn't die uh, at the beginning of the upkeep of the enchanted controller creatures controller that player loses two of life urban burgeoning Enchanted land has untap this land during each other players untap phase. I don't like it a lot, but we can think about it. Well, this is nice. Uh, add X mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool, where X is the number of creatures with defender you control. It makes our it set up our mana base, so I like. Uh, two six, a big blocker, but I don't think I will be using. Three of it. It even fly so when it enters the battlefield, you may search your li library for a basic land card. Or a gate card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. I like. I like it. Set up our mana base. This is insane, but we are not on Azorius. This is also good, but I don't think we need to splash here. Very interesting this card. Four mana for a 3-3 three three and it has scavenge 7. So I know 7 is too much but we can try. Um, when it comes into play no oh no oh, on Ogre Jailbreaker can attack as two didn't have defender as long as control you control as you control a gate it's very nice with gate creeper fine uh, it's good in as well as not in your deck in our deck very good scavenge 2 is ship death touch not our color I will speed it up because we have only 4 minutes here Stealer of Secrets uh, Chain of Jackal well we have 39 cards so let's set it by converted mana cost I think we have a block deck here well on 4 we have too many cards so I think we ha we should cut some to make our deck stronger. 
well, Grimmies can be exported out. Nice, this is nice. Nice. Uh, sideboard. I want to keep on agro plan. This is very good. This is card advantage on our deck. Well, we have to cut four cards. Well, let's set up, set aside the cards we are that are too expensive here. This. Maybe this, I know it is very good, but we have other cards, other interesting cards. Well, find hot for sure. This is insane. Well, I think this is not what we want here. We have graveyard hate. So uh, well, cut it. And we are very, very aggro. So we don't want to be Casting non creature spells to fill. One card to cut. Well, that is it. Add land. Add land. Suggested. I don't want. I think. Swamp because we have more black cards and these three blacks are very very actually yeah that's right I knew it seventy lands just insane deck I think I will cut something for it. I like this card. Uh, maybe one of these. Maybe not, for sure. Well, here we go. I hope I do well today.